Fish, Tim, fish. Got him. All right, there we go, guys. Good morning, welcome to Fishful Thinker. I'm Chad Lachance, right here. Very important guy to this television show. That's Mike Kroos right there. Say hi, Mike. Good morning, good afternoon. <laughs> Mike is involved with Peterson Toyota, Fort Collins, Colorado. You guys know Peterson Toyota. If you've been watching this show, they've been involved from day one because Peterson gets involved with community organizations. We got Mike in the boat. He loves to fish. We're going to get some fish. All got right. one right off the bat. It's my second cast. Nice work. We'll take it. Glad to be here. Stay tuned, guys. Get comfortable. It should be fun. Fishful Thinker Television is brought to you by Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Peterson Toyota and Toyota Trucks, moving forward. St. Croix Rod, best rods on earth. Berkeley, catch more fish. Abu Garcia, for life. Fishful Thinker Television is brought to you by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Evan Rood, spend more time on the water. Lawrence, find, navigate, dominate. We're fishing on a dam. There's a dam directly behind me. There's a natural bank right here. Somewhere around this transition, which we always talk about, is where the fish should be. I'm not sure if they're on the dam or they're on the corner yet, so we'll see what happens. But right here's a fit. Oh, he spit it. Okay, we'll give him a second here, see if another one will get it. Uh, I'm fishing a tube jig to get us started. Mike's got a popper because poppers are more fun than tube jigs. <laughs> and we're out here fishing for some smallies, some of which are post-spawn, some of which are pre-spawn. We're kind of a uh, spring of the year, so we're not really sure what to expect out of the lake just yet. But as with any episode of Fishful Thinker, we're gonna start on a transition and see what the lake will give us. Here we go. One of those, one of these will get bit right here. See that little overhanging cover right there, Mike? That's the deal. The fish gives them a, a false sense of security. Got him. I knew there'd be one there. All right, now what that is, guys, we always say fish something unique on the dam. Well, here's a whole big, big structural element of gigantic dam. Well, there's one little pile of brush sticking off and another little pile right there, and I'll bet you five bucks I can get bit on that one as well. And this is actually a decent fish, so we're gonna be careful about landing this one here. There we go. All right. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> Couple minutes in, we're gonna get them done really quick here, guys. Mike and I have been buddies for a long time now, and uh, we've been fishing for lake trout, uh, river trout, walleyes. Had your son in the boat for walleyes. Now we're fishing in the rain because we're not real bright. <laughs> but the reality of the situation is, guys, is uh, we have a great time with the companies we work with, and Peterson Toyota is for sure one of them, and uh, it's worth going fishing in the rain. <laughs> Okay, so the deal, Mike, is gonna be to throw the, the jig out. We're gonna rod tip real high with it to hold that tall angle. You're gonna feel it on the rocks, and the key is a gentle lift. It's not a pop. If you pop it, you'll have more chance of hanging it. Here's fish right here. Got him. He was deep. That fish was way deep. Way deeper than I would have expected him to be, actually. That's another nice one, though. Nice. All right, here we go. And he was way down there. Come here, fish. I did not expect him to be quite as deep as that one is. Come on up in here. There we go. It's a pretty small mouth right there. Now that's what we're looking for, Mikey. Yeah, very nice. We'll take that one. And uh, he was down there. He was, uh, he was a good probably six, maybe seven feet down. And I did actually feel that one bite, which a lot of them you're not going to feel them. You may underhand that. Do one of the little underhand flippies like this little deal right here and just flip it up like that. Something like that. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Right in my rings. I'm not going to darts with you. Got there him. Go. There you go. And that, friends, is why we're going to do that. <laughs> Nicely done. 
Oh, that's good fun. Get the I'll, net out for yeah, this right, guy. I'll have you Get swing him right. Oh, you got a green sunfish. Look at that. That's actually kind of a rare catch here, guys. I want to show you that. That's actually not a bass. That is a green sunfish, and that's a feisty little sucker right there. That fish, give me some slack here, Mike, if you would. That fish right there, he may not look like much, but that's a mean little sucker right there. He's, uh, he's more than capable of holding his own with with bass or whatever, they don't get very big. This is this is an average size one. All right, here we go. Now it seems like I know a lot of the guys that work at Peterson Toyota are, are, are fishermen. I've had several of the salesmen in the boat, uh, and not as part of any sort of affiliation. Just as hey, you know, let's take me and my dad out. Let's take you know whoever out fishing. It seems like if a guy comes in there and he wants to talk with you guys about trucks, you're going to understand it because you have a boat. Other folks in the dealership have boats. Absolutely. The owner of the dealership has a boat and lives on a lake. It's uh, You understand the whole situation is fishermen like to deal with fishermen and there's a whole bunch of them at Peterson. That's absolutely right. We love to be in the outdoors and we've got some great products. I drive a Forerunner. You know, we have a lot of guys that fish and have boats. and. Owner uh, drives a Tundra. The owner drives a Tundra, and we just like to have a good time and be in the outdoors and take advantage of all the great things that Colorado and Northern Colorado have to offer, and that's why our partnership has been so successful over the years. Hey folks, I'm professional angler Chad Lachance, and I'm here to explain to you why we choose the Toyota Tundra as the official truck of Fishful Thinker Television. I've been driving Tundras since 2002, and we've sourced those Tundras since 2007 exclusively from Peterson Toyota in Fort Collins, Colorado. Toyota Tundra has spent a lot of effort over the last several years investing in the outdoors, specifically the fishing industry. The trucks are built to tow, they're specifically designed for outdoorsmen, and they have all kinds of great features that make them very user friendly. This Toyota Tundra will turn a full circle in 44 feet. And that doesn't sound like much, but when you've got a big boat towing behind your truck, that turning radius is really, really important. What good is a truck without a lot of motor? And of course, the Toyota Tundra's got plenty of that. It's a 5.7 liter V8 engine. It's made out of aluminum, and it produces 381 horsepower and 400 foot-pounds of torque. It's also got a six-speed automatic transmission that can be put into manual mode and driven just like you would a standard, and a tow-haul mode, which locks the torque converter up a little more solid and makes the truck easier to drive with a load behind it. And this truck is rated to tow 10,200 pounds. Here at the back of our big bad Tundra, you'll notice we've got the Lear Topper, one-hand operation that will lock it down, and a tailgate that's got lift assist, so you just let it drop if you got your hands full, and it only takes one hand to close it. Toyota's integrated bed rail system. You can lock these anywhere in place you need to put them, lock them in like that, and now they're stable. You can strap all your gear to it, and everything will stay nice and tight. Like we said, this truck's not just about work. It's a refined vehicle from the leather and the level of trim and control in here that you see all throughout the interior of this truck. The Tundra Limited Edition is just an absolutely great truck for around town or in the open road. One of the neat things about the Toyota Tundra is, of course, the touchscreen system. So everything is here all touchscreen. My navigation system, my audio system, everything is all controllable at my fingertips right here. So you can see our map, you can choose your map, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can do whatever you might need, even mark your waypoint just like you would in the boat. Now, the really cool thing about this whole thing is the backup camera. You put it in reverse, you've got aiming bars, and I can back up without anybody back there telling me what I'm doing right up to my boat. There you go. Boat's all hooked to the truck. We're ready to go. Thanks for checking out our video. Check out Toyota Tundras at petersontoyota.com. And in the meantime, thanks for watching and we're going to the lake. Fishful Thinker Television is brought to you by Camp Chef, the way to cook outdoors. Peterson, Toyota, and Toyota Trucks, moving forward. Lawrence, find, navigate, dominate. Look at this one, look at him go, look at him just work it. Oh, I shook him. He was just working it. That fish was working it. Throw up there by that one big rock, you'll get, he'll pick it up. They seem to be in about the eight foot range. A lot of times what I'll do, Mike, is count the jig down. So I'll let it sink for two seconds and then I'll lift on it and then I'll let it sink for four seconds and then I'll lift on it and basically count it down that embankment. If you lift on that and there's any resistance like that, you go ahead and set the hook. <laughs>
There you go. There you go. Well, you caught the right species this time. <laughs> there you go, just point him straight up. That's no problem. Now, there's about a million of them this size in here, and I really think the bigger ones, all right, you can drop the rod and give me some slack. I really think the bigger ones are gonna bite the top water a little bit better. Here's the deal. It's a three inch power tube and an eighth ounce jig head. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the seam on the top of the tube jig to align my, my bait. So I, I got it wet, I'm gonna slide it straight down the seam of the tube all the way to the front because I want the bait to drop straight down. If I want the bait to spiral a whole bunch, like as if we had suspended fish instead of fish that are sitting on the bottom, then I would pull the tube head back maybe to halfway and leave myself this whole flexi spot in the front. That would allow an air pocket right here and this bait would then spiral in a big giant circle. I don't want that right now. I want it to go to the bottom, so I'm gonna push it all the way to the front and then I'll squeeze the top of it and the eye of the hook will come out just like that. Yeah, there you go. I saw right, your bait take off. <laughs> there we go. All right, well, we snuck in. A, Whack. Yeah, right, you barely snuck that one in. This fish snuck up on you. This fish right here, he's sneakier than a Prius, bro. He snuck <laughs> up on you, so careful. <laughs> nice and quiet, just like a hybrid. Yeah, right? <laughs> I love the red eyes and the uh, small eyes. Oh, dude, I, you know, even little guys, uh, we, we joke about it all the time. This lake is known for having a million little small eyes in it. And, it, if you can't have a good time catching a bunch of little smallies, then, I mean, I get it. Don't get me wrong. I love to catch me some giants, but those little smallies are playful. They're willing. They're a great opportunity to get lots of bites. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're the epitome. In my mind, they're the epitome of fishing. They're, everything that's good about fishing is you get a bunch of little willing smallmouth. There's there probably another one. Look at him go. Two in a row. See what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. There you go. Oh, there you go. Perfect. So you got all the fun part out of him. Now, did that one sneak up on you too, mm -hmm. or did you have more idea no. that he was there? So are you retrieving that bait more, or was it, are they biting it on the swim? What are they doing? Tell me, tell me what I'm doing wrong here. Yeah, you got it's biting on the wrong. swim a little bit. You're swimming it some. Yep. All right. Nicely. Don't step in the hole. Mike. Nice. You know, it's funny. You make the comment about the red eyes on these. Got them on the bottom lip too. They're biting hinky, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. We've been out this evening now for about 20 minutes. Cute little guy. Should we, should we powder his hiney and change his diaper? <laughs> you want me to pose with him? Yeah, right. We've, we've been out here for probably, I don't know, I don't know, half hour or something like that at this point. And we've already caught a bunch of fish, but I can tell you, we had a major front that blew through. We sat in the parking lot of the marina and debated whether or not we were gonna be able to get out and film at all. The problem with filming as opposed to fun fishing is you need decent weather. Well, it's definitely got these fish biting kind of hinky, no question about it, because we've hooked fish now on the top of the head, we've hooked fish in the bottom jaw. When you're hooking bass in the bottom jaw, something's going wrong with them. They're not biting real aggressively. We had, between you and I, four or five bites in, in a minute right there. And then when you finally land one, he's hooked in the bottom jaw. And that mm -hmm. tells me right there that they're just not acting quite right. We may have to play with our presentation just a little bit. There you go, exactly. Did you get him? Yep. There you go. There you go. That's a decent one too, isn't it? He's staying down. See, that's that halfway between me and the bank cast. I just want to take credit for some of that. I just, I just you know, it's the way I go. There you go. That's plenty real in there. You go. Nice done on the top water. Now he barely sipped it. So I know Mike, you've worked at Peterson for what, 10 or 11 years. What do you think is the most rewarding part of, of working at a Toyota dealership? Uh, you know, it, it's, it's a lot of fun, number one, and we sell such a great product and it's so much fun to see really growing with our customers and seeing them go through generations of vehicles from, you know, their first used vehicle that they might buy to their, you know, first Tundra that they might buy and then, you know, maybe to their dream vehicle like a Land Cruiser or something like that they might buy. It's fun to be part of their lives you know, through the entire uh, life cycle of their vehicles. And we're family owned, and I mean, the goal of being family owned is to provide that family experience, and we don't, very nice. I got owned by this five inch smallmouth just now. He's family, I'm is, a is this, family. Is this the big one? Or are we still this, this the, is uh, the family I, of little ones? No, I just, I told you guys, that if you threw the popper, we'd catch bigger ones. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't quite go this that way. This is like a four-cylinder Tacoma. We're looking yeah, for the V8 yeah, Tundra Yeah, exactly, here. right? <laughs> we, we need the big Tundra. <laughs> Fishful Thinker Television is brought to you by...
Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. St. Croix Rod, best rods on earth. Camp Chef, the way to cook outdoors. I consider Fishful Thinker and our, and our crews and our guys and our camera guys as part of the, the, the Peterson team. And I know you got a whole bunch of other folks that are similar to that, the, the Colorado State University and, and various uh, organizations. What's the point behind that? I know that can't all be profitable. No, you know, and, and thanks for bringing that up, Chad, but we support more than 100 different local organizations, whether it be charities or educational institutions like CSU, grade school, high school, middle school. We support charities like Larry McConaughey Humane Society, Ram Strength, um, all different kinds of things that, you know, it all goes back to community and we're, we are all one community here and we really are uh, blessed to be able to give back to the people that have given to us and like this, uh, like uh, this fish uh, right like, here like is given to me. One. Yeah, he, he, he gave I'm not the, sure there's much he's given to me. Uh, yeah, he, <laughs> he, he gave you his best bite tonight, though. He's like, Mikey, I like your tube jig. I'm going to go ahead and bite that. Look at the belly on that one. Yeah, you know, the funny thing, too, is, is um, things that you might not even think about, like the Full Moon Open Bass Tournament. I mean, it's yes, it's a bass tournament, but the bass tournament is a charity. One of the reasons, guys, that... Timothy Farnsworth is the camera guy for Fishful Thinker Television is because he likes to fish as much as I like to fish. <laughs> Tim keeps yelling at me to throw the topwater bait. You know what that means? Throw the topwater bait. Anywhere along that stretch of bank right there has potential. Yeah, nice throw. Oh man. Got him. There we go. Nice. Nah. There you go. <laughs> and there we go, there guys. We Look go. at the size of that Very one. Very nice. That's what we're, we're, what we're talking about. Now, this one, we're going to go ahead and, and lip gracefully. Very nice. That's why we throw the walking bait. And that fish, you saw him, right? You were looking. He came Very up, nice. blew up on it. I gave it a little pause. There's a big old walking bait right there. And that's a pretty one right there. For this lake, now this lake's not known for its giant smallmouth, and that's a good quality one for this lake. We're gonna get him put back real quick, and I'm even gonna be real nice about putting that one back because he played nice. That's a beautiful Very smallie. Nice. See, baby, look at that. <laughs> there you go, that's like my third cast with the walking bait. That's why Tim is the camera guy. Uh -huh. Oh, buddy. Come on now. Oh, my God. Oh, look at laughing at me. You hear that? That's Tim laughing right at me. Did, did you feel any That's love in that laugh? Six years of experience, right? Yeah. I didn't feel any love in that laugh. Oh, you. Oh, <laughs> nice. no. Full hook set. Time out. Time out. OK, don't anybody move. We might have to get to get my. You're standing on my line there, bro. That's not a good sign. You didn't like those pants, did you? <laughs> that was your biggest one yet, about 230. <laughs> Always, if you're gonna throw a top water bait, if you're serious about catching, I'm not gonna lie to you, we're, we're pretty lighthearted tonight about, about what we're going about trying to do. Uh, we just really wanted to come out and catch a bunch of fish and have a good time, but uh, if you're serious about catching them and you're really trying hard to catch them, then having a throwback bait is really important. Now, I'm gonna poach Mike's fish. This is called pot licking right here. What you do is you let your buddy throw and he's got a topwater bait and that will get everybody's attention. Oh, I messed you up. I messed you up. That's my bad. Okay, so this is how you don't do it, guys. This, um, I don't know. I don't know if it's legal to say what this is, but I have a fish and a popper at the same time. Here, Mike, I'm gonna let you grab this popper off of here if you would i got no free hands there you go and um uh okay now i told you i was gonna try to steal his fish <laughs> <laughs> you got him that was we were rude. And the fish that was rude my karma's ruined my my all the way around that was just not really nice mike i apologize <laughs> i threw behind his popper because it's very common is the case and, and all all jokes aside we're about education here's the thing surface commotion attracts fish a jig right behind that surface commotion is a great way to catch them. You could be trailing a bait behind it, uh, whatever. I threw right behind his popper and my thing got bit right away, but I tangled his popper, so that's bad juju. Where's your popper, bro? Now, the big question I have, Mike, I, I need a favor. I need you to talk to the owner of the dealership 
and to let me drive his Supra. <laughs> <laughs> the owner of that dealership there has a really cool turbocharged Supra. And viewers of this show may or may not know that I have some racing experience. There's a pretty one right there. La, la, nice. Pretty little fish. And you can see the post spawn. Look he's long and skinny and doesn't look like a whole lot. That's because these fish put a whole lot of effort in the last month into spawning. I think you'll have a lot of fun with that Supra. Didn't you have an FRS for a while that you drove I up in this can? I did, and that's why he won't let me drive his Supra. He saw the video I did with his FRS. <laughs> Well, Mike, as our light runs out right here and it starts to rain again, I just want to say that it's been a great run for six years. Uh, we've had a great time together. Hopefully we've been profitable for you guys and I know that you guys have been profitable for us. Dealerships that, that support their community are so important and it's not lip service, that's the real deal. And Toyota above that has also supported the fishing industry huge and if nothing else, people would be karmically correct to support the companies that support the sport that we love. And so I just want to say thank you as the rain comes pouring down on us yet again this evening on our quick evening fish. Well, thank you, Chad. And it's, it's been so much fun being part of your growth as well. And, you know, we launched together kind of with the launch of the new Tundra, you know, six, seven years ago and to see both your business and, you know, your success, not only as a guide, but as a, you know, really fishing uh, person in the region as far as your TV shows and the success that you've uh, achieved along with the success of the Tundra at the same time. That growth has been really exciting and fun and rewarding and we're really excited for what the future is going to hold for both you and for Toyota. Well I appreciate that and, uh, and with that note it's getting to be that time of day guys. If you guys want more information about Peterson Toyota check them out at petersontoyota.com uh, fishblinger.com of course links over you can find information on our Facebook page I'm gonna kiss this one for good luck for both of us there you go Mike Thanks Cross for having right me here on the show a lot of fun stop by Peterson Toyota Fort Collins Colorado talk to Mike Cross talk lake trout fishing talk smallmouth fishing in the meantime let's quit some rain gear and get out of here thanks Chad thanks for watching we'll see you next week what am I doing what is that thing doing did I just hook one I did hook one are you kidding me that was like a full-on accidental catch right there. Okay, give it a pop, pop, pop. Now speed it up a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. Twitch, 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 twitch. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pull on that. It'll come out. No? Point the rod straight out and pull it straight towards you. There you go. No? All right, we'll go get it. <laughs>